For anyone interested in getting detailed and relatable homesteading advice, Life Uncontained's YouTube channel might be a great channel for you to learn about homesteading and also how to do the best of shipping containers DIY build projects. But do Mackenzie and Spencer of Life Uncontained share everything with their subscribers? Here are some of the crazy things that you may not really know about these YouTubers. First, Mackenzie and Spencer literally uprooted their lives from the busy city life in Florida and moved to the Texas countryside on March 1, 2018. But they didn't just wake up one morning and make the move. This couple had been planning for this day for years, and so by the time they sold off their Florida home, cars, and quit their jobs, they'd already saved up a good chunk of money to survive on and to settle on the countryside as homesteaders that mostly build elegant homes out of shipping containers. They didn't just wake up, then pack up and leave as they may have made us believe. They had a plan and had in fact spent a good chunk of time getting their affairs in order because they knew that their lives would never be the same again. But because they needed to make this dream a reality, they gave it their very best and also their all. Thanks to their savings and the money they made from selling their home and cars, they made enough money that would allow them to kick off construction. The money allowed them to renovate the old barn at the farm into a livable home. Number 1. The large tract of land they settled in was given to them by Spencer's grandfather. If you haven't been following Life Uncontained for long, you may not be aware of how they came into the large property that they now live in and where they constructed the container house. But they didn't have to buy the land they needed to settle into because the land was given to the couple by Spencer's grandfather. The tract of land gifted to them had an old barn and they converted it into a livable home by renovating the interiors and incorporating a solar system that ran on Tesla batteries to ensure complete, off-the-grid internet access. One thing that Spencer recalls about the property that they now call home is the fact that he spent most of his youth on the farm and how they often went swimming in the backyard pond in a specific part of the property. And so, his grandfather gifting him a portion of the land to call his home made it all even more special. While getting started, they started building the foundation for their shipping container home. Once the foundation was done, they placed the container on the foundation and started working on turning the steel containers into a home. Their grand plan? The construction of a self-reliant, off-the-grid home made to be completely environmentally free. But why did they have to do all this? Number 2. Where did the idea come from? Well, apparently this couple got the inspiration to create their own home after one of the road trips they had taken. During the road trip, they had to stay in different guest houses, and these inspired them to want to lead a different kind of life. After the road trip, Mackenzie and Spencer started to search for alternative home designs, finding inspiration both online and offline. In many ways, the trip gave the couple some sort of epiphany that would completely transform their lives. They were also aware of the challenges that this kind of life would present to them, but the dream was too big, and they knew that they would have to follow their dreams and their aspirations. And they had to do it in the shortest possible time. So they planned the logistics, and by March 1, 2018, they'd already sold their home, quit their jobs, and sold their cars. Once they got this out of the way, they didn't just buy their first shipping containers, but also started the repairs on these containers all on their own, albeit with the help of YouTube videos. Two years later, their dream project became a reality, and the containers transformed from hollow steel containers to a comfortable home. Number 3. DIY Masters The craziest, most impressive thing about Life Uncontained is the fact that these two didn't just transform two steel containers into an entire livable home in the countryside, but they did it all by themselves with the help from the internet and essentially no experience in building, home renovations, or construction. And you can agree with us that this is a very impressive thing to do. The two aren't professionals in the technological world either and they'd never handled a project of that caliber. Well, they never really imagined having to ever do something of the kind. And yet, two years later, and they did it, fixing solar systems powered by Tesla batteries and retrofitting the containers into a comfortable home with heating and everything needed to create a home. Interestingly, the two had worked in completely different industries. Spencer worked as a mechanic while Mackenzie worked in the hotel industry. They both chose to quit their respective jobs to create a new kind of life, the life they'd only dreamt of, 
turning a completely unsightly cargo container into their home. Number 4. Turns out, the internet is a fantastic place to discover and fix mistakes, including the ones you weren't aware of. With this in mind, the two never shied away from exposing the harsh reality of the life they'd gotten themselves into. They made numerous mistakes during the construction process, but in many instances, even before they'd completed construction and the renovation works, they'd ask for advice. And thanks to their active online community, they got tons of advice on what to do and how to deal with the challenges. And this meant that they eventually made less mistakes and even saved money as a result. They admitted that during the construction process, they were able to do the right thing in most stages because of the endless hours they spent watching YouTube tutorials and listening to the advice offered in the comments section of their YouTube channel and the other DIY construction home renovation videos they watched. This wealth of information accessible online also meant that McKenzie and Spencer avoided many costly mistakes that they may have been forced to deal with later on. Number 5. Initially, they didn't have accommodation plans. Here's something interesting you may not have known about. Mackenzie and Spencer, while they sold most of their earthly possessions while planning to live off the grid and try the whole homesteading thing, but this time to live in cargo containers made of steel. They didn't really have a plan with regards to where they would live before they finally had a home. Despite this, the one thing that they knew they had to do was this. They needed to live modestly. Even with a small, old barn in the property, Spencer's original plan featured a three-bedroom, tended house on the property. Of course, this idea didn't float. But in the end, they settled on keeping their possessions in the small barn that they had intended to repair and renovate and live in before setting up their container house. Number 6. So how much money does their YouTube channel bring home? Life Uncontained is one of the most successful YouTube channels on homesteading and off-the-grid living. They are based in Texas, and thanks to their account being monetized, they make anything between two and $12,000 for every 1,000 monetized views. In other instances, they make 40% to 80% of their total views, which are monetized in ads. However, even the effectiveness of the ads is variable, as it depends on other elements like the devices that are used to watch the content, the viewer's geographical location, time of year, and even how the commercials are displayed in the videos. The total number of people that skip the ads is equally important, as is the type of ad run since advertisers will bid against each other based on the total number of times that the ads are seen. And this is then used to determine the cost per ads view. That said, the minimum bid requirement for the YouTube ads is determined by pennies per view for the ads, but this only applies to the YouTube channels with at least 1.3 million subscribers, as stipulated in the new rules of January 2022. With all these under consideration, we estimate that Life Uncontained makes about $400,000 annually, which is a big deal for this family that is self-sufficient, living completely off the grid. Number 7. They didn't really think they'd be able to pull it off. Despite feeling like this was the best thing to do, Mackenzie and Spencer were at some point very doubtful about what their lives would be like and if they'd be able to pull it off. At the same time, they didn't want to live in regret later on, and this meant taking the risk. So when they finally got the two shipping containers delivered to their land, Mackenzie couldn't hold back her emotions, seeing as it was the first important step for the rest of their lives. The arrival of the truck carrying the containers along with their belongings was all emotional for them all, and possibly for their dog too. But even with the arrival of their belongings and the reality that finally made them aware of the fact that it was finally happening, she was quite overwhelmed in the beginning, having to give up everything. But with Spencer at her side, she knew that they were going to make it to the other side. Number 8. Is it possible that they have a professional editing team behind their channel? While they've experienced a great deal of success on their channel and lives, and they are doing pretty good, the same growth can be seen on the quality of their content too. Even so, this is the one thing that several people are criticizing the channel. They may or may not be wrong about this, but the high quality of their videos and the level of tidiness in their videos may point to the involvement of a professional team of videographers and editors. Normal houses look a little tidy and in most instances quite messy, but you don't see any of this on Life Uncontained's channel. 
Today, the channel has grown and so has their family. With two kids and two dogs, the absence of messes and toys all around the house or in random places make the content seem all too good to be normal. Some people can be minimalist, but not how the channel is portrayed, especially for homesteaders who always get their hands in different home improvement projects that they take part in from time to time. Some critics also claim that the weekend getaways they go to, seemingly every other week, may be where they go to film the content from, then clean it up, stretching the content into several films that will ride up the number of views until the next trip. They claim that it is possible. They try to make it look like they were filming from different locations, even when they are in one location. So for their viewers and subscribers who watch the channel for entertainment, inspiration, and guidance, such antics, if real, could ultimately damage the credibility of their channel. Number 9. Patreon Page Life Uncontained also has a Patreon account, which they use to communicate with their devoted fans and subscribers, who receive specific photos and updates, and in most cases, a more personalized level of communication to their dedicated followers and subscribers. On this page, the subscribers often get all their questions answered. We shouldn't forget that the Patreon page is often a page that increases the number of zeros in their accounts through donations, and by engaging on a personal level with the group, they are guaranteed a higher level of success and higher income levels. Perhaps the extra income allowed them to invest in better quality equipment, hence a greater overall experience. Number 10. The Channel Keeps Growing Regardless of the opinions held against the channel, they boast a high level of success with at least 1.3 million subscribers and at least 140,000 views per video, which means that the channel is a good revenue stream for the family. 